uh, I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Vladislav Yakovenko from Oberik Klinik in Kiev. So in the East European part of uh, Europe, we have a higher incidence of gastric cancer, and so we have very interesting cases. Please, Vlad. Thank you. This is the case uh, of the early gastric cancer that was found in 81 years old female with chronic uh, uh, atrophic gastritis, helicobacter positive. Uh, you, uh, during the standard uh, EGD was found uh, lesion, pale, skull-like uh, skull lesion, type uh, 0 to C, 1.7 centimeter in size, on posterior wall of uh, stomach corpus with a clear demarcation line. Uh, this is the picture. If you see this lesion, very difficult to see. Uh, we see this whitish area with clear demarcation line. When we use uh, high magnification endoscopy uh, with the, uh, uh, water injection, we see this uh, lesion more clearly. And then after high magnification, we see uh, the border of this lesion, here the border, and the uh, neocapillaries, corkscrew papillaries and intralobular loop uh, type 2 papillaries according to Honored Inouye classification. So uh, this is uh, oligastric cancer type 0 to C, uh, CSP ELL2, uh, suspected uh, uh, mucosal only involvement, G3 is suspected. According to uh, GJEC guideline, uh, we have expanded uh, criteria uh, for this lesion. Uh, due to uh, this patient uh, was not suitable for surgery, uh, ESD was done, and then uh, I want to uh, get some words to our pathologist. This is the ESD. You see an uneven surface um, at the microscopy, and here you can uh, see that the, gla the glands and pits are um, displaced by a uniform looking small rounds, by uniform looking small rounds, and with the eosinophilic uh, content. And at higher magnification, you can see those cells very, they look very uniformly, and they are really the classic form of the cyanide ring cells. So the diagnosis is ESD from the stomach with a poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma with cyanide ring cells, PT1, N0, L0, V0, M0, R0, G3. Can you explain something in this case? Yeah, maybe? Yes. yes. I think this is a really this nice case, can which can nicely can demonstrates can the can typical can appearance of signaling cell carcinoma. Usually, a uh, well differentiated adenocarcinoma is uh, divided to proteroid type and uh, the breast type, which has the uh, same color as background or a little bit reddish one. Sometimes it tends to be whitish, but mostly it is uh, protruded type, which usually have well-differentiated adenocarcinoma. Unlike uh, well-differentiated adenocarcinoma, poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma is usually very flat or depressed, and usually looks whitish. So in case of ha finding white patch, uh, it is a kind of sign of uh, signet ring cell carcinoma. Of course, if there is uh, some ulceration or the lesion uh, becomes much bigger than two centimeter, it is not a candidate for endoscopic resection because risk for ring node metastasis is getting higher. Only the mucosal cancer without ulcer findings less than two centimeter 
uh, region uh, is a candidate for endoscopic resection because of the lower risk of leaf node metastasis. So the, that this case was a typical a good uh, case for endoscopic resection, even though histopathological evaluation was very uh, signet ring cell carcinoma. Because of differentiated cancer, I think the resection margin is very important that you have a larger resection margin. What are your uh, what is your approach? Uh, how far you resect uh, the, the lesion finally from the center of the uh, changes? I usually keep at least three mi millimeter away from the actual uh, target lesion put the ma marking, then cut outside the marking dot. That means uh, we usually can keep at least five millimeter free margin of the tumor. Uh, but in case of having poorly differentiated adenoid carcinoma, we keep a little bit uh, uh, wide uh, safety margin, which I usually put uh, five millimeter away, f uh, I, I mean put the marking dot five millimeter away from the target region, then cut outside the marking area. That means we can keep nearly eight millimeter safety margin for the poorly differentiated adenoid carcinoma. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Which was the depth of the evasion? Uh, M2. 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 Yes. Okay. And why don't you call this P PT1A? A is, a, a is a, uh, uh, it is mucosal. Yeah, but it is intramucosal. Intramucosal cancer, yeah. M2. So it is PT1A. Uh, yeah, 1A. Yes, 1A, yes, yeah. yes. Thank you. You agree? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I want May I have a question? Please. In the previous piece by uh, Philip Chu, uh, we saw only the classification about uh, Yao classification. We didn't see this classification, four type classification, which is, I think, uh, make a, a, an endoscopic prediction of histology, which is important for uh, decision. For example, Corksu LL2 mainly is uh, endoscopically poorly differentiated. A fine network in LL1 is uh, well differentiated. Why, uh, I saw on the, this, uh, this uh, uh, publication for Yokohama, I don't see any other uh, study from Japan using this uh, four type. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this was also my question to, to Philip because um, I want to know um, when you describe a lesion, <laughs> In the stomach, uh, usually we use Paris classification, and what else for classifications you recommend to use? Yeah. Uh, Hello? Yeah. So uh, I think um, there are evidence uh, on the presence of a corkscrew appearance. Actually, I, I wanted to, to point out this point, that at the presence of the corkscrew appearance in the vasculature, which pointed towards a fully differentiation. And I think, uh, yeah, I agree that uh, there are different patterns that you can actually try to recognize uh, in the early gastric cancer where you can actually give a point towards a prediction whether it's feasible for endoscopic resection or surgery. Uh, but, uh, I think this is uh, also a uh, very complicated issue that uh, uh, there are a lot of described uh, classification and uh, characterization under magnification for early gastric cancer. And one of the, one of the reason is because uh, they are different behavior and different pattern. So we, I, I, I think we are moving towards, but yet not towards the you know, same, same uh, classification. And uh, I think the description, as uh, I think previously Professor Inoue pointed out that more important is uh, to differentiate whether this is a cancerous and uh, non-neoplastic non or neoplastic lesion at the first beginning, at the first sight. And then you would go into more details and you can explore more upon whether, you know, find details whether this is a poorly differentiated or differentiated type. And uh, c at the current status, we cannot escape from a biopsy. So uh, it's still like that we have to confirm it with the, with the final histopathology. So a any, any, oh, for saying. Sir, thank you very much. So this classification, <laughs> uh, this uh, illustration uh, written by myself, and then uh, I, I think this uh, classification, uh, tissue tissue classification, uh, cancer tissue classification based on uh, uh, findings of the granular surface structure is a practical, I think. But reason why 
reason why so not so many Japanese doctors uh, use this, uh, not so many uh, Japanese doctors <laughs> use this uh, classification is, is um, so poorly and the moderate, uh, the G, G2 and G3 is very, very actually complicated. So G1, G1, so uh, differentiated adenocarcinoma is very clear. So that's the reason why, so Dr. Yao, so he's a specialist of the stomach. The, uh, he uh, published the uh, diagnosis in a uh, differentiated adenocarcinoma first. And then, so he tried to uh, develop the uh, uh, puari. But puari uh, adenocarcinoma, puari gastric in the stomach, the puari differentiated adenocarcinoma uh, has a lots of variations, lots of historical logical variations, sometimes uh, make uh, confusion. So this is a, one of the way to make diagnosis uh, simply, but not perfect. Actually, uh, when we detect this kind of lesion before, before uh, ESD, we take a four quadrant biopsy uh, besides the lesion in order to uh, deny the uh, sub epithelial spread of the uh, uh, poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma cancer cell. So like that, so poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma, moderately differentiated, sometimes very, very complicated. That's the reason why. Yeah, I completely agree uh, with Professor Inoue's opinion because poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma is very rare in the esophagus and the colon, uh, therefore NBI magnification becomes more simple. But in case of, of having gastric cancer, still 40, uh, 30, around 35 to 40 percent of the gastric cancer cases are poorly differentiated adenocarcinoma. That's why we usually take a biopsy before uh, making decision for the treatment option.